Hey, what's going on everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel guys. In the video that you're watching right now, I'm going to keep this as part of the tutorial series, but it's going to be a follow up of sorts. Okay. And what I mean by that is it's going to be a follow up to the mesh paint video. It's going to be a correction because yours truly made a boo boo. That's right. We are now called boo boo Brown. <laughs> All right, let me explain what's going on here. All right, so one of you guys just reached out to me recently. I had a little bit of a problem, all right? And that got me to thinking, all right? So let's flash back to the video where Boo Boo Brown said that you could lay down an entire transform group using the mesh paint tool, right? And I was not wrong. You can do that. However, I think in the video that I stated, you probably want to zero everything out, okay? Because if not you're picking up some of the uh, translation values from the original group, right? So if things are like way up in the air, like say if you take a, well, here, let's do this first, okay? So what you're doing is you're picking up some of those original translation values. So if you look at the tree that we have here, which is a really nice tree, I would use this on any one of my properties, okay? And I'm sure you would too, see, one single tree, right? Problem with this is that is not one single tree, that transform, it's a transform group with four different trees, okay? And I zeroed everything out. All these trees are zero, 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 meaning they occupy the very same point in the map, all right? So that's that's Boo Boo Brown's fault, okay? <laughs> I, I just took it for granted that using a transform group, right, when you lay these down, so if you do this, right, so let's go back to the mesh paint tool, Okay, so we laid down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we laid down eight of them, eight trees, right? Nice, I can live with that. However, that is a problem because it is not eight trees, it is actually 32, right? So we laid down eight transform groups, four trees a piece, all right? So if you were to do this on your map and lay down, say, like 100 trees, it would not be 100 trees, it would actually be 400 trees, and that could turn into a pretty big problem pretty quick. Thank you for that, Boo Boo Brown. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my goodness, that name is going to stick with me for the rest of my life. Alrighty, so the problem here now, okay, what I was thinking with, with zeroing everything out. So let's take one particular tree out of here, okay? So let's take, and this is what I mean by it's going to, it's going to, those original values are going to carry over with the transform group. So I'm going to take this transform group with one floating tree, okay? Now I'm going to go back into mesh paint, okay? See what happened there? I still have that floating tree. That's no bueno. That is, that's not good, okay? So that's what I meant about zeroing them out. Zero, zeroing them out, okay? I was trying to avoid this particular issue, but, you know, I... I I guess I didn't do my due diligence and test this out well enough. And I ended up, you know, passing along some bad info to you guys inadvertently. Of course, I would never do that on purpose. All righty. So let's, let's set the record straight here. Okay. Let's, let's get this back to where it needs to be. All right. So now how do we want to go about this now? If we want to lay down an entire transform group. All right. So we need to be able to figure this out, get that back down to where it belongs, get rid of these extra transform groups here. Okay, so my advice now, if you want to lay down an entire transform group of trees, so take your transform group and, and place the transform group down manually, okay? So like what I did here, I have control B and I put that transform group there. Now go through your individual trees, all right, and move them around, put some spacing in between them, but do it in such a way that you would like to see it on your map, okay? Don't like, don't put them in a straight line or or, you know, anything that looks that it looks too predefined or, you know, make them look a little bit random like I got there. I still got a floating tree. Didn't do a very good job with that, I guess. OK, so that's what I recommend doing is adding some space to them. Right. Then go back to the transform group. And when you lay down the transform group, now you have something like that. Now you can see all 32 trees. Right. Instead of your uh, the eight transform groups individually. OK. Now, you still have the eight transform groups, but at least you have some separation per, you know, between your trees. Now, here's something to keep in mind. With that being said, right, when you come over to your attributes right over here for your uh, 
for your mesh painting for your minimum distance maximum distance stuff like that and your uh your random y rotate when you do a whole transform group these values are affecting the transform groups themselves okay so now you're you're putting down the minimum and maximum distance you want between transform groups not between individual trees all right so that's you know take take that you know how you will all right so you may not you may not want to your values might change slightly depending on you know now that you know you're affecting a whole grouping of trees so i might want my minimum distance you know to be as high as like say 120 you know and my maximum distance say 300 you know and i'm just throwing these are just arbitrary just random numbers i'm throwing out there so now when i do it okay I know I got, you know, a little bit more spacing between my trees, All right? So you're going to have to play around with these values. Like I said, those are just random values that I threw out there. You know, don't, you know, take that for what it's worth, okay? Just keep in mind that these values are now affecting an entire transform group. It's the distance between transform groups, not the distance between the trees. All right, so your options here are to go ahead, you know, if you're going to do the whole transform group is to tweak them, you know, the way that I just showed you that, you know, having an, an X, Y, and Z value isn't necessarily a bad thing when working with the transform group. Um, the Y value, that's a little more critical. Just make sure that's at ground level. All right. If not, you're going to get the tro the floating tree like, you know, we just seen. Okay. Um, so you could do it. Like I said, the two ways is to go ahead and, you know, tweak them manually like we just did or just place down individual trees. All right. Um, I personally, now probably the reason I didn't catch this is because I don't personally use mesh paint often, if at all. All right. Uh, so that's Boo Boo Brown's fault, right? I have a different way of putting down my trees. Now you can, there's a few different ways to do this. You can do this by spline. Um, I have a way that I do it and it, it utilizes an info layer and a script tool. Um, and it completely randomizes them completely completely random and you can put down as few or as many trees as you want it's really an awesome tool like i said you paint them on you paint down the area where you want your trees you designate you know which trees you want in there the amount of spacing you want between trees the whole nine really awesome tool and i promise that i will uh I will definitely show you guys how to do that in a future video. Um, but for now, you know, thank you once again for bringing that to my attention. You know, you, I wanted to make sure I get that out there to you guys. So I'm not, you know, I don't have bad information floating around out there. I feel really bad about that. Okay. So now that we got that sorted out, these guys are all straight with that. You know, you got that. And like I said, once again, thank you for bringing that to my attention. In return, I brought that to everybody else's attention. So we're all good to go. And I do promise that I will uh, do a video somewhere in the near future on how to lay down trees using this other method. Uh, we're probably going to wrap up the tutorial series first because there's only like a couple of videos left in that series. And then we're going to start getting on to uh, to bigger and better things. OK, um, and that's it. So with that being said, I am Boo Boo Brown <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one.